Good day, Pooh Bills. How are you today? Hope you enjoyed your Christmas and your New Year celebration. Now, welcome to 2021. I wish you many more years. Now, in social studies, our topic for today is living together in the family. Presented by Priscilla Ayeni. Our topic outline for this lesson will be one family and two the importance of living together in the family objective of this class at the end of this class we should be able to one define family at the end of this class each and every one of us should be able to say what family is mention the types of family and also state living the importance of living together in the family when you live together in the family what are the importance so now sit calm and listen attentively because you will definitely enjoy this class now definition of family what is family a family is a group of people who are related by blood or marriage a family is a group of people living together who are related by blood or marriage that means every one of you in your family is related by blood without the family they cannot be a society this is because we come from different families where we live to form a society like the age of four family the Mbanefos family the Ayanis family when they come together we form a society so if we don't have this different family coming together they will not be a society so a family is a group of people living together who are related by blood or marriage so we are either related by blood or we are related by marriage so now this is a picture of a family these are family members you can see the grandfather the grandmother the grandchildren the parent the husband the wife etc so this is a picture of the family member now we'll move forward to types of family there are two types of family the nuclear and the extended family now i'll be explaining the nuclear family the nuclear family consists of the father the mother and the children this is the family most of us have the family of just your father your mother and you and your siblings that is it that is the nuclear family then when you look at the screen you see the picture of the father the mother and their children which is the boy and the girl so that is the nuclear family this is a very simple family now we'll move to the other page which is the extended family the extended family consists of the grandparent your parent your uncle your auntie your nephew the niece the cousin etc if you look at this picture you will see grandmother grandfather father mother your uncle your auntie your niece you know they are the family that are much they live together in one fa in one house but they are much they consist of both the father the mother the children the uncle the auntie you know they are much in this type of family so now I would like us to see the differences between the nuclear family and the extended family. If you look at your picture very well, you see the nuclear family. You see only the father, the mother, and the children. While the extended family, you can see the father, the mother, the auntie, the uncle. They are much in this extended family. Now let's move quickly to the importance of living together in the family. You'll be wondering, wow, so there is definitely a reason why we live together in family. Yes. There's definitely a reason why we live together in the family. One of those reasons are family protects its members from illness by taking care of themselves. You see, when you take care of your brother, your sister when they are sick, that shows that you are a family. Family protects one another. For example, your brother is trying to touch the socket that the electric wire there you as the elder brother will protect him by pulling him away from that wire so that is why we live together as a family to protect one another 
family makes its member happy by providing the basic needs of the family now daddy will make you happy by providing your school fees by providing a shelter over your herd by also taking you to school so you see that makes you happy because you have you belong to a family where you don't belong to a family they can't do this for you then maintaining a good family name and reputation when you live in a family you have a good name and a reputation the family ensures that the family ensures that you behave well they teach you how to behave they tell you when you see your elder you kneel down and greet when you see somebody on the road you greet so family ensures that you get such behavior family brings unity among family it brings unity we live together in peace and harmony so that's that about the importance of living together in the family thank you very much for listening and i'll see you later in our next topic thank you